Hello, my name is Moon Suk Yang, and I am a second year master student at the Future Craft Project of KU University. In today's presentation, we propose a method for creating a gemming user interface using the multi-material 3D printer and introduce its advantages. The background of this study will be explained first. When I look at the existing production process of jamming user interfaces, I, and I noticed that uh, the entire process was done manually and looked complicated. I wonder if I could make it a little easier and I decided to research the automatic production of jamming user interfaces using a um, multi-material 3D printer because this printer can print the model with two different materials that could be used for the membrane and bits of the jamming user interface. So in this study, we used a multi-material 3D printer to create a jamming user interface. The rectangular product, a prototype that you are looking at is composed of a membrane made of um, TPU filament and bees made of PLA filament. The user can automatically cre create the interface in just one process. We have designed a manufacturing process that leaves more tasks to 3D CAD and 3D printers. Once the device is printed, the user can compress the device to peel off the bees inside connect the tubes and complete the interface. Now let's take a look at the specific manufacturing process. In this study, the model is pre-designed using customized software made in a 3D CAD tool, Rhino. By using the software, the user can edit the size of the bees and the device by adjusting the printing parameters. This time we printed a prototype with two different rooms. Please refer to the paper for specific information about the parameters. During modeling, the lattice support material is automatically generated between the layers of the beads to minimize the contact surface between the beads. Thanks to this, even after pr uh, printing, you can easily peel off the beads inside by compressing them with the force of your bare hands. Finally, connect the tube to the device and you're done. As you can see, I'm able to control the hardness of each separately through independent suction. Next, we introduce some applications of the proposed method. The first one is a variable device that can be worn on the joints of the user's body and can be used flexibly depending on the situation by adjusting the jamming of the respective rooms. Secondly, we believe that we can create a double structure inside the device, which will uh, provide users with a new haptic experience. Furthermore, using conductive uh, filament for the internal bees, a versatile input-output shape-changing interface can be produced. On the other hand, the proposed methods of limitation is the low durability of the membrane. After printing, when the uh, compression peels off the bees, it is found that the membrane could be easily broken. And to prevent this situation, we covered the, the outside of the device with a sheet of uh, elastomeric material. As a future work, we plan to perform the task to maintain the durability of the membrane uh, described in the previous slide. Specifically, we'll be looking for um, filament material that can be substituted for um, TPU and readjusting the printing parameters. This is the end of the presentation and thank you for listening.